Hey, so what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and you all might be wondering, Mario, why aren't you playing Destiny right now? It's awesome, it's out, and um, you know this video is going to explain why. I cannot play Destiny, and this is the reason why, and I'm trying to help you all out as well. Now see, if you look at my screen right here, I'm running the Xbox 360 version of it. I have it on 360 and PS4, however, the issue is still the same on both of them. If I boot it up, I get this air code, and the air code is Centipede. Now, I tried it for the first time this morning, and I got the issue, but I didn't think anything of it. I said, you know what? It's the first day at launch. There's a lot of people on the servers. It makes sense. I'm not expecting it to work. Unfortunately, that's what we have to think now, but, you know, that's how it is, I guess. Anyways, what ended up happening was uh, before one of my classes, it might have been either before or after, um, but today, just in the middle of the day, somebody I know who actually works on campus, I work on campus doing IT and everything, and he does the same thing as well too, however, he is more of the help desk side of it, while as I'm doing more of the hardware, things like that, in a different building. Uh, but he gets to work with, you know, uh, a little bit of the network stuff and everything, and he was actually telling me, unfortunately... It might not be Bungie's issue with me not being able to connect. It might be the university's issue. Now, some of you might be wondering what's up with that, and if you are a university student watching this video, you might be experiencing the same thing. Well, this is how it works. First off, for me on a personal level, I do not live in a dorm. However, I do live in an apartment that is owned by the local university which I am going to, and because of that... I have to use the university's internet, which is very fast and reliable. Unfortunately, though, they do block certain types of traffic. Now, this is where I'm going to get into the technicalities of it. Destiny uses peer-to-peer -peer style traffic, which is nothing new in gaming. In fact, this is the first game uh, ever since I've been gaming on University Connections for the past, like, three years, this is the first game I've ever had where I was not able to connect to a service or a server of any kind. Well, you might be wondering, Mario, peer-to-peer, -peer, isn't that, like, torrenting and LimeWire and stuff like that? Well, yeah, that's normally what it's attributed to. It can be used in gaming as well. However, because it is attributed to piracy and networks like that, most universities do block peer-to-peer -peer traffic, and the way that Destiny works is that it accesses some common ports and some common practices that are normally used for, you know, torrenting and other types of illicit peer-to-peer -peer traffic. Meaning that you are trying to start a peer-to-peer -peer connection on the game, your university sees that and it is blocking that connection. Even though you're not trying to torrent, even though you're not trying to pirate anything, you're not doing anything like that with the game because you really can't, but because it is seen as using a peer-to-peer -peer type of connection or connections, your university is more than likely automatically blocking it. Now, I hate to break it to you all, but first off, Bungie has really not commented on the issue. In fact, if you look up the Centipede air code, one of the most common fixes they are telling you is there is something wrong with your connection, you need to check your NAT. Well, again, if you're on a university connection, more than likely you cannot manipulate anything in the connection settings itself. For example, I myself, I am hardlined through an unmanaged switch, which a switch, an unmanaged switch specifically, is a lot like a power strip. You hook it up into one thing and then you get a bunch of expansions off it. It's like that, except this time it's with Ethernet ports. And even pertaining to the open NAT issue, my NAT is actually open, so I really never have any connectivity issues, and the odd thing is, again, as I said, this is the only game I have ever had connectivity issues with over this university connection. Now that I've explained how and why it happens, I have to bring you all some bad news. Because this is an individual basis or a campus-only thing, more than likely Bungie will not be patching this. This is just how the game has been coded. I really think it, something different could have happened just because this is something that has been prevalent since the alpha, and it is something that is kind of known on occasion. There's a few other games that have had issues similar to this on campuses, and there are many gamers, of course, on college campuses all across the world. However, as I said, because it is an individual network connection issue when it comes down to it, Bungie will more than likely not patch it just because it is not anything on their end. So what can you do? Well, there's a few options. The first thing I recommend doing, bring this up to your network administrators. Contact your local campus help 
help desk and talk to them about it. Be courteous, bring it up with them, and more than likely, they already know about this issue. There's a lot of gamers, as I said, on college campuses everywhere. Destiny is a huge release, and when I called up my local help desk, I introduced myself, and I just asked them. I asked, do you know about the game Destiny? And the guy didn't even waste any time. He said, yes, we know about it, about the connection issues. That's when he explained a little bit of it to me. And he actually said that earlier this year, when Diablo 3 launched on the PlayStation and some other systems, I'm guessing with Reaper of Souls when it was re-released, there was actually a very similar issue to this. However, what they did was they made a few exceptions for the game, and now you can play online on the campus connection with no issues. That is essentially what your university needs to do. As I said, this game, it is not doing any direct, you know, peer-to-peer -peer piracy related traffic, but it is still trying to initiate a peer-to-peer -peer connection or many connections at once, meaning that these connections do get blocked. So what your university IT will have to do is they will have to go in, see what Destiny is being used for, and set the exceptions for Destiny. This will be on all systems as well. It's not just one system that's affected, it's all four consoles. So, great, you reported it. Now, what's that mean? Well, if your IT people are going to take care of it, then that means they're going to have to wait a little bit, and you really don't know how long you're going to wait. I mean, even I myself right here, uh, when I called up IT, they said call us back if it doesn't work within a week, and I'll be honest, I don't want to wait a week to play Destiny. I really want to play it, especially since I paid for it, and now, you know, this is literally the only game I have that does not work on any of my systems properly. Now, what are your other options? Well, there might be more options, but these are my recommendations. Number one, if you have a friend or a family member that you can go over and play over at their house, you might have to do that. I do not take any responsibility for overstated welcomes. However, be nice, be courteous, help them out, get them food, whatever it is, you know, do something to pay them back. I actually have something like that set up where some friends were kind enough to let me take my system over there, so I am going to be doing that here in a bit. Now, what if you really don't want to do that? Well, that's understandable, but your options still kind of suck, I'm not going to lie. Uh, the other option you have is if you have a smartphone with a data plan and you have wireless internet on the system you're using, you could set up a wireless hotspot and then tether into that using your system. However, this brings up two big things. One, your connection will probably be very poor and spotty just because you're tethering off your phone. And number two, of course, this will probably burn through your data plan easily. With those two factors being in there, I really wouldn't recommend that at the same time just because you're not going to be able to fully enjoy the game. The last thing I can think of, which I have seen this done successfully, is using a VPN on your console. However, do this at your own risk because I have actually looked this up and VPNs are anywhere from cheap to free, but... Let it be known that in the Xbox Live Terms of Service, using a VPN on your console to connect to Xbox Live is actually against the Terms of Service. So, personally, I don't know anybody that's really been banned for using a VPN, but at the same time, I really don't know many people or anyone that use a VPN to connect through Xbox Live. So, I'm just saying, do that at your own risk. I haven't looked at the Terms of Service for the PlayStation, but for the Xbox Live Terms of Service, it is against them. Anyways, I hope I was able to inform you all, help you all out, and if you are on a university campus trying to play Destiny, I really hope you're going to be able to play it soon. If it makes you feel any better, I have not been able to play the retail copy yet either, and I bought the game just like you, so I'm feeling kind of disappointed with it. I'm not mad at anyone, I'm just kind of disappointed that it happened, but hey, you know, stuff happens. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you for watching, everyone.